<laughs> Hello and welcome back everybody to the third day of the King of the Hill Heart of the Swarm Good Studio Rap 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 series as we are about to jump into our next game of the day, the third game and uh, Hyun is taking on Glon or should I say Glon is taking on Hyun as uh, Hyun remains our king this is now the King of the Hyun tournament Mm -hmm. With Hyun absolutely dominating. But there is Glon, as you can see him in game place for Quantic, his top 50 Grandmaster. Maybe he's the next Zerg Bonjour. I don't know, but we're about to find out because he has to make something happen. It's teammate versus teammate up here in the top right. We have Quantic's Glon. Brian Genler, 17 years old. And you can follow him on Twitter at Quantic Glon. And he's currently, as mentioned, top 50. Grandmaster in Heart of the Swarm at the moment and uh, he was picked simply because he is one of the highest Zergs on the ladder right now and I love opportunities but down here this guy doesn't seem to be beaten is of course IPL's Fight Club's 14 win in a row Quantix Hyun he's got a cool style um, Hyun very aggressive very fast and we'll see how he's gonna play in this game he's already opened up or oh, sorry not he has uh, yes, he has. I was getting confused with the, the overlay. Yeah, the overlay is getting fixed. Hyun has opened up with a 8-pool. Very early here. Um, and we'll see what Glon's going to do. One of the standard openings here is Hatchery first, of course. We'll see. This is uh, exactly how uh, Hyun opened against Ghost User. Yep. And it's, we on saw this his map micro as well. On this map as well. We saw his micro. So we'll see how this is going to work out for him as we do not have a spawning pool down yet. If we see Glon go for a spawning pool, that's going to help him out a little bit. But it didn't help out Ghost User. Ghost User did go for a 15 spawning pool, not 14. So a little bit earlier of a spawning pool here. So a decent start here for the 17-year-old. The and we'll see what magic he can bring here to this series. Because he's going to have to bring something. Otherwise, Hyun's going to walk away with all our money. Six lings on the way. You want to go up to ten lings usually, I think he goes up to. And there's the hatchery coming down. Eight lings come in. And then after this, we'll obviously want to get a queen and expand himself. But Hyun's goal here is to stop that expansion, basically. And get an expansion up of his own behind it. Um, so we'll see. Glon now sees the lings. He has enough supply left over, actually. Builds an overlord. And now we'll just want to you know, start link production. And... We'll see if he's going to be able to manage this okay. He's still see the hatchery down a little bit late. He's only got four lings against like ten, is it? Of, or eight. Ten, yeah. So only four lings being made at the moment. He's not really going to save that hatchery at the moment. With four lings on the way. Four more are coming out as well. Will take a while for all these to come. He is going to pull drones, which is the smart thing to do. As he doesn't quite have the link out. Let's see his micro. Lings get in there. Drones get in there too. And look at Hyun's line. Look at Hyun's line. It's perfect. Again, like it was against Ghost User. All the lings die. And a lot of the... Or, or most of Glon's lings do die. Look at the unit loss difference. And this may get forced to cancel here. And that's what Hyun wants. That's what he's aiming for. As units filter through that ramp, he gets the perfect line. But look at this. It's not going to work. He's done it again. Look just like against lost. Ghost User. He hasn't, look, he hasn't even... What's that? He's lost... What's 37? That's just the drone cancel. Uh, yeah, on the, the, the extractor. He hasn't extractor lost a single ling. No, that's one ling, isn't it? 37. Oh, yeah. One ling and drone cancel. Yeah. That's it. One ling and a drone cancel. One ling out of all that. So he's still got nine lings. How many is... Glon lost a lot, I think. I don't even know exactly. Uh, but he's got more. He's still got more lings than Glon had. Glon's probably had double the amount of lings out, is what I'm trying to say. And he's only got six now. Queen does out to help, but there's a natural down for Hyun. He's at 27 supply. Oh, dear. Someone's taken all our money. I think it uh, might be happening, man. Hyun is just... It, it's insane to me because he did the exact same thing the Ghost User. Comes in with what looks like a slight build order disadvantage. And Micros is Zerglings perfect every time. He gets way ahead. He gets way ahead. And, you know, he's he's winning this at the end of the day because he's lowering the Ling count, which means that those Lings can't counterattack him while he's droning. Even if he's losing those Lings, he's not letting Glon take a natural. Yeah, any time this hatchery isn't in production is just it's winning so time. so far behind. This is unbelievably far behind. This is... 
It's like the game is almost over already. It's that far behind. We have speed on the way for Glan. I think he, he's just going to throw down a bailing nest and say YOLO and just go for it. Yeah, I, I think that's like, a smart choice. He um, can't do anything I mean, else. it's kind of the only option, but uh, Hyun hasn't taken gas at all, so... He's not going to have his own speed. He's not really going to have uh, much. So if he can just get this bust and try and make it work, it feels like it's the only option. But we'll only see. one on gas now, actually. Only one on gas. He's mine up to 100. He's not going to try. He's going to play from behind here against three queens. A, a mineral-only play from Hyun is one of the most economic plays you can have in Zerg vs. Zerg. Because you only build drones. And queens and spines for defense. It's like so powerful. And then all, all what we'll see now is Evo Chamber Roach Warren and like all four gases taken. The Evo and Roach Warren is pretty much more of a wall off um, at this point than anything else. With queens, three queens, that's a complete wall off. All four gases are taken. He's like already 40 drones probably. He's about to hit 50 with the, the next set coming out probably. Uh, and that's two base saturation. Here comes the Bailey Nest for Claw. He's, he's realized how far behind he is, but even if he attempts a, a, a bust now, it can't work. It can't work. It's that simple. It's a full wall with a queen. Spine behind it, transfuses. Roaches can be made now. It can't work. So he's going to have to play this game from a 20 supply deficit. And... We'll see how this game's going to go on. Spade is done. He's going to see the wall. He knows he can't bust it, so there's no reason to be aggressive. He'll have to keep droning. And he's going to have to look. Hey, look at 23 drones to 45. He's going to have to look for a different approach. Like, a layer's coming down for Glon compared to his drones. That's a fast layer. If you don't look at the time and you look at the situation he's at with his drone count, with his queen count, with his gas count, that's a fast layer. Compared to Hyun's, Who's is a late lay, but it's at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like, that's how far behind he is if you try to compromise everything together. And he's got 1-1 one, one for his roaches on the way. If he's going to play Mutalisk, which, which may be the option he's going for, how is he going to combat by the time Mutalisk come into play almost 2-2 two, two Roach Hydra? There is not a way. So, you know, this is why I'm looking at the game and be like, it's pretty much almost over. This is, this is so difficult to come back from. And the only way that you can come back is if your opponent makes massive mistakes after mistakes. Is Shun going to do that at his level? I don't think no. so. You know, it's he's not a player that will make... He may make mistakes, but he's not going to... He may get supply blocked here and there, maybe. But he's not going to make major mistakes that can lose him the game, unfortunately. And there's the Spire. That's... Oh, this is... For any Zerg player out there, feel Glon's pain. Because this is painful. He's losing Overlords. The Hydroden's already on its way, as mentioned. 1-1 one, one will be done. 2-2 two, two will be near done by the time Mutalis cross the map. And the thing is, what we're probably going to see, unfortunately, is Roach Hydra walk across the map and kill him. It's that simple, unfortunately. The spy has been scouted by Hyun. And as soon as he spots it, just sends the units across the he map. He knows there's no, there's no defense. There's no lings. There's no banelings. There's no roaches. There's no spines. He could kill him before he even gets the spy. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, GG. He just knows. It's like, it's such a bad position to be in. And that's, you know, super anticlimactic game. I'm sitting here <laughs> lying back like, he's, he's dead. He was dead from the beginning. He was really dead from the beginning. Um, and it's, it's sad to say, but that opening from, oh, no, it's not even the opening. It's the micro. The it, micro. It is strictly the micro because... Uh, the unpositioning. It's, I guess it's not, it's not really... He's not microing himself into a better situation. He's putting himself in a position where he can micro better. Yeah, and where the micro is easier to pull back those lings that are taking damage. Just... Uh, Hyun continues to impress. I feel a little bit bad for Glon having to go up against Hyun off the bat here. Um, he might, he might have had a better opportunity against Sase for sure. Yeah, I definitely think um, so. If Sase had taken out Hyun, but... Well, well, well. Well, well, well. You know, an opportunity has been presented. Glon is, you know, taking it as, as best as he can. But he's playing against an amazing opponent. And, you know, a lot of people maybe just looking past Glon already. And looking at Polt to see if Polt can stop Hyun. And, you know, former teammates at TSL... Um, you're a bad guy, man, with those glasses on. <laughs> That's how ADBC you, you normally uh, observes guys, just like this. And, and usually doesn't speak either. He just sits there in these glasses. Yep. He's usually only speaking. one hand scratching my balls as well. 
Usually he doesn't speak, and the only reason he's speaking is because I made him like have a mic on his face. Otherwise, he'd just be silent throughout the entire series. But uh, what's the next map? Uh, the next map will be, as one might predict, Aklon Waste. All right, Aklon Waste. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday evening in your pajamas. If you're wearing pajamas, you can tweet some pictures at me. Tweet me your pajamas. I'm someone already did, right? Someone did. Someone tweeted me. I didn't retweet, but I'll retweet a couple after. If you're wearing pajamas and if you're drinking hot chocolate or cozy with a blanket because it's Sunday evening, this is the last day of the weekend, send me a picture uh, on Twitter at ApolloSC2 uh, and I'll give a couple of retweets and have a look what you're wearing. <laughs> 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 All right, so jumping into the next game here, we have Glon going up against Hyun. Let's see what can happen between these two players. Teammates now, enemies, even more so at this time being. Is Hyun going to dismantle another Zerg like he did Ghost User? And boy, did he dismantle Ghost User. And he just did that as well against Glon. Glon at 50, level 50 to 58 there. He's been playing a bit of the other races too. It is just the other races, isn't it? It is nothing else that attributes to it. If you play one race, you will only be level 30. Yeah, I believe so. I get so. 2v2s and playing other races and 2v2s and fun games can, can uh, play into it. Anyway, we do have, of course, Quantic Xion. His style is fast and aggressive, as we saw. Uh, loves to be on top of the game and loves to be able to control the game. And his opponent, also on Quantic, is Glon. His style, not so much known. He really hopes to do well in Heart of the Swarm in a recent interview, actually. Um said, not a recent interview, I think it's when he first joined uh, the mix-up of the Quantic team, the Quantic Zombie team. Uh, he, he said he hopes to you know, be one of the frontiers for North American StarCraft 2, so we'll see if that's going to happen. Did win an IPL5 North American qualifier, and well, well, well. Do you mean IPL6? Is that... IPL5. Okay, so... Back, you, okay. back, back when. Um, and went through quite a few decent players then, actually. It's like uh, he went through Katz, Swangsin... Huangsen's pretty good, uh, and a couple of other players. So just making his strides. Started playing StarCraft 2, Wings of Liberty at 15 years old. And we are having identical builds here. Um, the, was it 8 pool or 9? Yeah, 8 pool. Eight pool. So uh, double 8 pool coming in uh, from both of these guys. And this actually counters, I mean not counters, it, 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 uh, it nullifies the 8 pool. It, it, they both counter each other. So nothing should really happen here. It will come down to micro again. For example, if they both have 10 lings, if one of them edges out a victory, then he's going to be forcing the other player to make more lings compared to the guy that could be droning and hatchering and queening and making money, getting rich, getting laid back at home. Uh, so it is going to be a micro war. We do have the faster queen coming out from Hyun compared to the faster hatchery from Glom. That is the difference. Um, and to be honest, it actually favors Hyun in this position because you want more lava than you do want the hatchery because that hatchery is not going to be used considering they both went 8 pool, so you do prefer the, the Lava and the Queen protection. Because imagine now, if Hyun convincingly wins this, there's no Queen at home to defend, there's no extra Lava to produce Lings, it's just a, a dead hatchery. And here's going to come the first fight hit, and well, I thought it was, <laughs> as Hyun runs to the hills, he's going to come back with his other two Lings, and it looks like Glon is a bit outnumbered here, 6 to 8, and he's going to take a bit of damage on the first couple here. And this is where that queen's going to be a bit of annoyance because he doesn't have one at home. He's going to have to build more and more lings. But like I said, it does kind of cancel, cancel each other's build out a little bit here. And it does come down to micro. And how many lings a piece do they have? Is it like 12 each? Nope, 10 to, 10 eight, to 8. 8. So a little bit of an edge here for Glon, who obviously now going to turn around and start chasing Kyons, who will have to build a couple more. Um, but in this scenario, because it did not really, nothing really happened here, um, you know, Glon does have that faster hatchery down than uh, Hyun does. And, but with the queen there, this is fine. This, the game will just continue on, basically. And because of that earlier queen, we see Hyun taking a bit of a supply lead here. That's uh, the advantage. Yeah, it's, as well as the uh, much earlier gas for Glon. Yeah. So th there's advantages on both sides here. Earlier queen, more supply because you're building stuff more uh, out faster. You have defense out. You no scouting actually denied there by Hyun. Good, good uh, denial of scouting. But then on the other hand, we have Glon who had a faster hatchery down there. So he's able to uh, you know, get the lava from both hatcheries faster here. And he also has speed, which is quite uh -oh. a big advantage. Two drones, misclicked, misrallied. Uh, this is actually quite a big mistake for this stage of the game. Two drones 
halfway across the map. A lot of lost mining time, but now with the Queen out here, we are going to have a significant defense here from Glom. Does not really want to allow Kion in the main base, and does not want to get his Queen surrounded either. So the drones are going to come out, and they should defend the Queen here. Good micro pulling it back, and he does get scouted though, so he does defend his Queen, but he does get scouted, and that scouting information is going to tell that there's speed on the way, which is going to make Kion play a little bit more defensive now. Spinecrawler may come down. Uh, an additional queen may be made. Ling's definitely are going to be made shortly, uh, and a speed of his own here. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see a, a more defensive setup here from Kion because he doesn't have his speed of his own. A little bit of supply blocked at 36 and 28 for both of these guys, actually. Both building two overlords at once. 30 drones to 19. Big advantage there for Kion in terms of income. Look at that. Wow. It's a massive, massive income difference. 18 lings on the way out of BC. Yeah, 20 now. So he's been, he's been stacking up his larva. Um, yeah, that's a drones. lot. 24. And this could, uh, this could do quite a lot. Chun is uh, droning, man. He's yeah. very high on drones. Very, very high. He may not live through this. And he's going to see it right now. And Glon moves out as speed completes the last possible reaction time here for Hyun. Very, very minimal reaction time. As soon as speed is done, those slow links moving across. Spine is being made. Queen's going to have to hold the ramp here. They do not have enough energy for transfuse. I, Glon can win this. He can win this. He can bring these queens down. And, and there's nothing. The links have to come off. And oh, the drones are going to try and get a surround in here to help the queens out. And the queens do get pushed back. But look at how many. He's going to do it. 14 lings on the way, but there's 32. The queens are down, the drones are down. And wow, <laughs> GG, long cold. <laughs> and Glon does it. He does it. He takes a game off Hyun. Cheeky little build there. You cheeky little guy, Glon. You cheeky little 17 year old, you. Hiding those lings in that lava, you. Can't wait till you watch the VOD later. <laughs> wow, he did it. Did it. I didn't think he could even take a game off him. Honest to God. Yeah, I really didn't see it happening either, but um, that's great, man. USA, baby. <laughs> USA. USA. <laughs> I knew you were American. I'll root for my North American homeboys from time to time. Wow, USA. Look at that. Can you do USA with your hands? Is it? Is there any... <laughs> what? I can, you can do YMCA, but... I can do YMCA. I did that at a tournament once with Samuel. Oh, yeah, you had to teach it to me. You had no idea what it was. That, yeah, yeah, no I, I got to go YMCA find that was. clip again, I think. That's a very good video, actually. If you can find it, what we'll do in the next commercial break between... We'll have a bit of a... <laughs> yeah, it is somewhere on the internet. It's on YouTube somewhere, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, the twitch.tv slash... Wait, it was... Is it in Thor, Twitch VODs? Thor Open SC2. If you guys know what I'm on about, the, the YMCA dancing, uh, tweet to us, me, at a BC, good studio, find it. The YouTube, the Twitch VOD, whatever. Link it to us and we'll have a bit of a giggle in the next commercial break. But going on to map number uh, three now. Never thought I'd say that either. Uh, Glon now with a fighting chance to dethrone Hyun. One game. That's all he's got to do. One game. What map has Hyun chosen that one game to be on? Newkirk City. Newkirk City. Glon's played a lot of Heart of the Swarm. He's obviously played a lot of this. Can he do it? Can the underdog do it? We're about to find out. And very weirdly, I like to actually sit with my knees crossed like this a lot. Okay. Even in, even in my computer chair when I'm playing StarCraft, I sit like this. So uh, make sure, also in the commercial break, we'll have a look at some of your pajama pictures too, if you want to tweet in some pajama pictures. Why not? Having a bit of fun here at the Good Studio. The King of the Hill, day number three. Uh, thanks once again to the subscribers of the Good Studio. If you want to be a subscriber and support the Good Studio channel, do so by clicking the button underneath that says subscribe. It supports the studio, produces content like this, and more future content from us as well. Not just around StarCraft. When you subscribe to the Good Studio, not just doing it for the StarCraft, but for Dota, for all the other stuff we do as well here. The Good Show and the Steam game. <laughs> show thing <laughs> full of steam, full of steam is on game. Wednesday's the good show of course I'm sure a lot of people so watching good show is Tuesday good show is Tuesday full of steam Wednesdays Wednesday. beat the studio is Thursday might be moving to Friday uh, we will see so lots um, of cool stuff yep. to subscribe to I mean just follow uh, the good studio on Twitter and you'll get everything there and of course follow the stream on Twitch as well yeah, so. give it a like give it a like mm -hmm. okay for the final time I'm going to introduce these two players down here in the bottom right, it is Quantix Hyun. Currently, an equal series between these two players. But this guy in the bottom left is Quantix Glon. Teammates, but rivals a cheeky little guy. 
with that victory. Let's see if he can do something against Hyun now. No eight pulls. No eight pulls. We'll see. I think they might both go hatchery first here. But we've started off game number one with an eight pull from Hyun. Game number two with double eight pulls. And we'll see what game number three is going to bring us. This is going to be a good game, I feel. A bit of tension between these two players now with that GG lol from Hyun. <laughs> Saying, wow, you, that's that's one way you can beat me. Like, it's when been, I'm joining up to 45, you build 50 links. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen someone do a a nice little mass up the links in your base. It's fun. I love watching those games. Uh, yeah. So, same with uh, in ZVP when they just mass up the non speed links. Target doing it to hero. I love that. Cheeky little strategies that don't work very consistently, but they do work inconsistently. <laughs> they do get those odd games in now and then. We knew we were going to have Hatchery first here by uh, Hyun. Not a major disadvantage between builds here. Um, it was 14 pool. It does lean it a little bit in favor of the Hatchery first player here. Uh, personally, I do prefer Hatchery first. Spawning pool is a general, all-round, safer, not too bad economy build here. But with gas first as, as well here by Hyun, I think he's kind of won the, the, the rock, paper, scissors, mind game a little bit here. Through, you know, Glon opening up relatively safe. The 14 pool compared to Hyun, who's gone, you know, super late pool, early gas. He's gonna, he's gonna have speed faster. Um, he's gonna have a much stronger economy because he's gonna have this hatchery down faster. Uh, so yeah, I, I you know give a slight edge here to Hyun. But it's not really not a big one to be honest. I feel like we'll see some some Ling Bane Ling play from Hyun here. I yep. think it's uh, really smart to fall back on that when you feel that your opponent has. Uh, just probably inferior control and micro than you, so yeah. focus on that. Not much margins for error. Nothing like uh, Ling's getting hidden. Getting hit. Space. Yeah, I mean, we, we saw Hyun's ability to use Ling Bailings at high efficiency with fantastic and super And the second micro. game against Ghosty user. Um, yeah. Yep. Just uh, making Banelings, charge them in his spine crawlers. And the thing is, like, he's off. hitting every single Lava Inject behind this while microing too, so very, very deadly, strong follow-ups here. Definitely could be uh, something to see from Hyun, who's still mining gas, see? Uh, likewise, we do have Glon about to build speed or research speed. There's the Bailing S. Good call, good shout out of BC. Mm -hmm. So definitely going to be seeing a bit of pressure here from Hyun. Going to uh, put his opponent to the test, I think is the right way to describe this. And we'll see if he can micro well enough defensively. Defender's advantage does mean something in a Ling Bailing because Queens are there. A potential Spine Crawler could be there too. So it is, uh, it is there, the defender's advantage for, for Glon. If he wants to jump on it, there's a Spine by the looks of it. Or a Bailing Nest. See if he gets a Spine. Not a lot of Zerg players do get Spines nowadays because the amount of Ling Bailing attacks has considerably dropped off. So people do skip Spines here and there. And Hyun is hiding his links too. He's hit his Bailey nest at the back. He's building a lot of lings. Oh god. Without a spine, it is harder. Bailing's already being morphed. Bailing nest kinda late. Oh dear. This is gonna be a difficult one to hold this if he doesn't see it soon. And he does see the lings making the movement out now. And well, the Bailing Nest not quite ready here. It's seconds away. He's got a queen in position, he's gonna evacuate his natural. Wow, big, strong, big choice here. Going to try to hold off there on the ramp. He's going to try and hold his main here, but the problem is, is that yes, he's going to buy time to get his Banelings, but can he hold his natural? If that hatchery goes down, the game is over. It's as simple as that. We saw the effect of that previously, uh, and he doesn't want to get run by either, so it's going to come down to micro here. A lot of injects not coming down. A lot of links on their way. A lot of Banelings being morphed here for Glon and for Hyun. Two have been sent out aggressively here. Uh, do detonate on a cocoon. Bad, bad detonate there by Glon. And oh, almost got them. And the Banelings get detonated as well. He's got one Baneling left. Glon's got one Baneling. That's it to defend against all of this. And it detonates. Two Banelings do morph in. A queen gets surrounded. And well, Hyun is absolutely rolling over his opponent. And behind this, he's droning. Behind this, he's lava injecting. Behind this, he's on top of everything. And the Banelings are trying to get to the drones. Oh no, a big hit goes down. Glon drops in supply considerably, and he is as dead as you can be here. Dead as a doorknob, some may say, because he just took massive hits. Well done, called by Glon, and unfortunately, he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. 
couldn't do it. Hyun remains our king, and that means one thing. Unlucky, Glon, congratulations, Hyun, but it's time for the pot. <laughs>